What's up guys, it's Kristen from Anime Collective. Today I'm unboxing the DP9 Trunks Statue EX version for you guys. Let's get into it. Very quick look at the box, pretty simple with the artwork of Trunks on the side, no breakages to report either, so everything was packed really well. Next, I'm gonna show you guys all of the pieces and we'll assemble the statue as we go. First, I'm going to show you guys the bases. I got the EX version, so this statue actually came with two different bases. Also, I somehow got my first number one statue, which is exciting. Crazy to think that this was the first EX statue that DP9 ever made. So this particular base came with both the standard and EX versions. It has more of a simplistic look than the next one and doesn't have any light up features, but it's still painted to look like an inspired by Trunks time machine. The EX base also has the Capsule Corp logo in its center, which looks to be a decal, and this one is made to look even more so like the bottom half of Trunks' time machine than the other. They added weathering details throughout and decals that say Capsule Corp on the thrusters. Next, I want to show you guys the light up feature on this base real quick. So you have to keep this plugged in for the lights to work and it turns on and off with a switch in the back. When you first turn it on, it does this opening light and sound sequence that's pretty cool. Here's what that sounds and looks like. But the lighting of the base gives off some nice yellow highlighting, especially on Trunks' pants and the air mags, and it looks really awesome when the lights are turned on. A cool concept for a base, especially the EX version, because that one really ties everything on the statue together. This is a streetwear-inspired statue, so Trunks is shown wearing a blue leather jacket and they added a capsule corp patch on his sleeve. They also have him wearing a crossbody bag, and he is very faintly shown wearing the air mags, which debuted in Back to the Future, and of course Trunks time travels as well, so a nice touch they chose to show him in these. The paintwork on the Air Mags is great, but the only thing I noticed is the Nike logo on the tongue could have used more precise application. Other than that though, the details are all accurate down to the speckling on the sneakers. I'm glad they took a more minimal route with trunks because some other statues show them more of a hype beast style with like five different companies on, but I really like his fit on this statue and it's tastefully done. This statue also came with two head sculpts. The first one shows him in his standard appearance with his purple hair. Likeness is almost there with this one. Oddly enough, though, he looks more like himself from the side than he does from the front, but I like the intense expression he has. The second is a Super Saiyan head sculpt, which is an EX version exclusive. The hair in this one actually lights up. You just pop off the hair and there's an LED unit inside that is lit up by three batteries. I actually had to tape the batteries together with electrical tape because it was impossible to get them all in. With the way they made this area, there was just too much space in there and the batteries would just fall in when you tried to put them all in together. This could have been made better, but you may have to do the same thing if you can't get the batteries in. That aside, the hair looks awesome when lit up, especially with the EX version base lit up as well, and it actually adds quite a bit to this statue. Trunks is also shown holding a bat over his shoulder. The handle of the bat is sculpted separately, and you have to add some blue sticky tack into the insert of the metal part to get it to fit in tightly, which isn't a huge deal, but I'm never a fan of having to add sticky tack to pieces. The metallic red color they chose looks good though, and he looks even more powerful in the stance with the addition of the bat. He also came with a separately sculpted dragon radar, which you can display in his other hand. They added the grid details, and you can see some dragon balls popping up on the radar here, but a nice little detail to add as well. Now that it's all assembled, let's showcase the statue. If you guys saw my collection tour, you guys know I'm a huge sneakerhead, so this statue is actually one I'm displaying next to my sneaker collection. I'll never own the Air Mags because they are ridiculously expensive, so I thought I'd get a statue of Trunks wearing them instead. And while it's not the most amazing statue I've ever seen, it sets out what it achieves to do, and I still really like it and think it's a fun concept. I am super excited to get more statues like these in the future to display in the same area as Trunks. And there you have it guys, we took a look at and unboxed the DP9 Trunks statue. What do you guys think of it? Let me know below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you all next time.